Welcome to our next video in the Physiology 101 series. Today's topic is body mass index or BMI. BMI is a uh, ratio of your weight to your height and it's expressed in kilograms over meters squared. All right, so that basically tells you um, how much mass is fit into your height given your body. So it's kind of like in a, a measure of body size. Okay, and what BMI does is it tells us a lot about um, a number of factors, but the main one that a lot of the research has been done on is mortality. Okay, so BMI is split into categories based off, again, our kilograms over meters squared. Okay, so um, based off your BMI, that will tell you what type of risks you have as far as mortality and other uh, cardiovascular disease. Um, so with a, with a BMI of 18 and a half or under, you are considered underweight, okay? And with that, there's a pretty high mortality uh, risk. The normal range is 18.5 to 24.9. You're considered at the very lowest mortality risk. Obviously, everybody has to die, so <laughs> you're gonna be on the chart somewhere. As your, as your BMI increases to 25 to 30, you're considered overweight. Um, from 30 to 35, you're considered obese. And there, there's three tiers of obesity. And with each increasing tier, you have an increase in all-cause mortality. And that's been pretty well researched. We're gonna link some studies um, in the comments here to, to back that up. Um, if you get to 40 plus, that's considered morbidly obese or obesity class three. Obviously that has your highest risk of mortality and you're gonna to wanna to stay out of those as much as possible. Um, what's cool about BMI is that when you're measuring large populations of people, it does a really good job of giving us hard data like this chart, okay? The, the downside to it is that it doesn't take into consideration what builds or what, or what goes into um, your weight and height. So if someone has a lot of muscle on them and maybe they're short, they're gonna have a really, really high BMI and technically speaking, they're still gonna have that higher mortality risk. And that's something that's being researched more nowadays um, and what they found so far is that with an increase in BMI, you're going to have a decrease in cardiac function, which is going to predispose you to, um, in the end, mortality, but also other diseases along the way. Um, so I guess the, the big kind of knock on BMI is that you're not going to, so for, for fit individuals, you're not going to get a very accurate um, picture of kind of your health status. Um, but when you dig deeper into the research, you actually do get a pretty good picture of your mortality risk. I'll give you an example to make that more clear. So say you have a bodybuilder who is uh, technically maybe in the overweight or obese category. Um, all the studies done on BMI uh, take that into account and they say, yes, you have a ton of muscle on your body, you don't have a lot of fat, um, but if that amount of weight is not uh, matched with cardiac fitness, meaning they don't they have all this muscle, low body fat, but they don't have a very high level of cardiac fitness, um, you're still at the same risk as someone who's obese. Even if all your weight's muscle and all the other person's weight is fat, you're at similar risk. So that kind of, it, it kind of gives us an idea of how to manage these types of athletes. A lot of times it means incorporating more cardiac fitness and more general health stuff and a little bit less, you know, bodybuilding and physique type stuff. Um, but it also tells us too that, um, you know, the people that are in underweight categories, this tends to be maybe younger people, maybe women, whatever it might be, that they could benefit from, um, whether it's resistance training or even a little bit of endurance training too, to get into that healthy BMI zone. Um, obviously we're aiming for that 18.5 to 24.9 BMI. That's kind of our healthiest and associated with the lowest risk. Um, so it kind of gives everybody a good aiming point as far as where they should be. And even if you're someone who tends to carry more muscle or is a little bit shorter and tends to be higher BMI, you need to know that you're still at a uh, similar mortality risk as someone who's overweight or obese or even you know, into the higher obesity ranges if you don't uh, also have a certain level of cardiac fitness that will um, kind of take away some of that mortality risk. So that's the, kind of the basics of BMI. Um, you can take it a lot deeper and look into the epidemiology of a lot of different diseases. Um, but just to introduce the topic, that's pretty much what it is. Um, and yeah, we'll be referencing it in our, in our future videos. So make sure you stay tuned to those. If you like the video, go ahead and like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.